Slow set 8 is very similar to slow set 7. We're going to be cleaning the external uh, containment area. And the steps to do so is very, very similar. The only major difference is that since we're outside, we're going to extend that 2 feet cleaning area, not to just 6 feet, but to 10 feet. When we're outside, our containment area was 10 feet. And so when we clean, we got the extra 2 feet, so that 10 plus 2 makes a total of 12 feet of cleaning of area to clean. So once again, same type of procedures, right? All the, all the stuff that's been picked up, all the hazard materials that's been, um, that's been collected, has to be bagged, has to be loose neck tied, has to be removed from the area. Then similarly to the interior uh, cleaning, you have to be sure to get your vacuum, your uh, HEPA vacuum. Now remember, you don't want to use a regular vacuum, you want to use one that's specifically designed by HEPA. This is a HEPA canister for a vacuum. So the idea remains, the first thing you want to do is vacuum all the debris, or wipe up the debris, whatever is your uh, preference. Be sure that the sheets are clean before removing them. So, the best to start at the furnace plate first and work your way towards the door. Never step back when you risk cause contamination. Remember to utilize all the equipment that comes with the HEPA vacuum. This tool, this extension tool, is best used on walls. Remember you want to go from the top down to bottom on every single uh, vertical surface. Once again, start from the far side and come with the the entrance. things you want to use is a flashlight to be extra, extra short. When you're done cleaning, let the certified innovator in charge of the project know that you're done and that you're ready for the final visual inspection.